it's been a game of shifting narratives. Years ago, people were talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as an actual medium of exchange. You know, this is going to be used to pay for uh, at restaurants and pay for food. So the whole medium of exchange thing didn't happen because, you know, scalability was kind of the scapegoat for that. But so then that shifted and then it moved to this whole store of value thing, right? We never said that crypto is a is a is a thing you should actually use as a currency. You should be using it um, as, a, as a place where, you know, it's akin to gold. And then that didn't really work out um, because they realized that, you know, hey, gold actually exists and so do stocks. Um, and so they're like, oh, OK. Actually, it's about DeFi. It's about rebuilding banks, essentially, um, and, and large financial institutions in the blockchain, which, you know, we're starting to get into this comical territory uh, where it's like, hey, guys, all those financial institutions you said you were going to completely demolish um, and, you know, all the hierarchies you said you were going to demolish um, and because the blockchain would make people, it would give people liberty and they'd be able to be their own bank. You want to recreate all that bad stuff inside the blockchain. And it's like, okay, like you can see where this is going. I, I don't really see the value in that. I think the, that already exists. And so the value of recreating it on a blockchain to me doesn't have a lot of benefits because it actually makes the thing less efficient. Um, you know, it's centralized for a reason. And that's because it can be super efficient. Um, so you have that whole side of it. And then on, and, and I like to think of those people as, as, as the newcomers, right? So the whole DeFi movement, uh, typically people that I see have come into crypto late to the game, probably like 2016, 2017 onwards. Um, and then you have the OGs, right? So you have a whole bunch of people that have been around for a long time, the, the Bitcoin core developers, the lightning folks. But then you look at what they're doing and they've kind of like hunkered down in a bunker and they're creating like these Rube Goldberg machines for sending transactions. And, it, and it's baffling to me. It's like the, the scaling solutions that we're coming up with, like Lightning and, and all of that are so, so, so complex. Bitcoin is hard enough to get an average user of, of, of Venmo, of, of Apple Pay, etc., to just understand the concept of public and private keys backing up a seed phrase using a Bitcoin wallet. Then you have to layer in lightning channels and the fact that you need to have, you know, all these lightning channels established, routing needs to happen, multi-hop. From a user experience perspective, I don't see a way um, that they can kind of hide that efficiently um, that works and uses. And so it's a little bit sad to me because I feel like you've got people building impossible um, chaos machines in a basement um, and they're cool developers. They're, they're very smart. Like, I don't want to take away from from what Lightning and, and the likes of those teams are doing. And then you have like the institution folks who are all like DeFi, DeFi, let's let's turn this blockchain into a into a, you know, corporate capitalist thing. I, I, I really don't see a sizable enough population of people in the middle kind of saying, hey, what about using cryptocurrency to actually transact? It's gone. I hoped that Ethereum was going to establish a lot of this and do a lot of this. Um, but the fact Ethereum is now rebranding as Ethereum 2.0, which a lot of people don't realize is is completely different to Ethereum. This isn't like just a patch to Ethereum. No, it's like, no, guys, Ethereum was a failure. Sorry, we need to completely re-architect the whole thing. I think that speaks volumes to how challenging it's going to be to actually just buy a cup of coffee with cryptocurrency. So I don't know, that, that's where I stand. And as an outsider, like I have no financial incentives for this. I have no, it's not a job that I work in. And so I like to just call it as it is, like as a product right now, I don't see how cryptocurrency is going to establish a uh, market fit or adoption. <laughs>